skin cancer. It is the most common type of cancer, with one in five Americans developing it, developing it by the age of 70. It kills more than two people every hour. So using at least a 30 SPF and broad spectrum sunscreen that protects you from both UVA and UVB rays is really one of the best ways to protect yourself. But that is not all you need to look out for. Well, it turns out that some ingredients in sunscreen can actually cause cancer. So here's what you need to be on the lookout for when choosing your sunscreen for you and your family. The choices seem endless. So how do you pick your sunscreen? My girlfriend gave me one. Anything like above like 50 SPF? Unless I'm away in an island or something, you know, I don't use it. Whichever you choose, you need to know not all sunscreens are created equal. Recent studies show some popular sunscreen brands contain toxic chemicals such as oxybenzone, homosalate, or octocrylene. These chemicals can disrupt hormones in the body and can lead to reproductive problems and cancer. These chemicals can be detected on the skin and in the blood weeks after being used. Also try to avoid the chemical benzene. When researchers tested sunscreen from more than five dozen manufacturers, they found that 27% of them contained the carcinogen, even though benzene was not a listed ingredient. Experts recommend using mineral-based sunscreens that use zinc oxide or titanium dioxide as the active ingredient. So another resource for you, the Environmental Working Group that keeps a close watch on sunscreens and puts out a best and worst list every year. You can also search your sunscreen to see what rating it gets. That's EWG.org, and that'll certainly help you out if you're interested in the safety of your sunscreen. Also remember that it's never waterproof or sweatproof, no matter what it says. That is why you need to reapply every two hours or after getting out of the water. And remember this one, the teaspoon and shot glass rule. Use a teaspoon of sunscreen to cover your face and then a shot glass full to cover the rest of your body.